Um, we'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, Cassie, I'll go to three, and I think I answered it. I see it deep in the location. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, uh, we are ready for the event. MBRSC, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Uh, uh, here NBC, uh, station, I got you loud and clear. Uh, BC, have a new all. Uh, the sound is not clear enough. This is MBRC, do you hear me? MBRC, no, I'm not going to check Sultan, we are in Dubai Obra, and we have with more 1,900 people from people living and even citizens. And we are excited to see. We have also have some questions we need to share with you. But before we ask you, do you want to deliver anything to, to say something about for the people and the audience here? Thank you, Saud. Salam alaikum, Jamian. Hadithkum Sultan and Niyadi, Mahatat Falad Dualiya. أنا سعيد جدا بوجودي معاكم اليوم وهذا العدد شكرا thank you to my brother to be see you upon you all اهتمامكم بالمباراة وحبكم للمباراة مجرد بداية I'm very happy to be with you today with this huge number of attendees because you are very keen about the environment because this is will be a good start for many achievements in the future and I'm very happy to be with you today. Now, we will have a question. Well, let's start. Please see upon you all. My name is Khadifa. I have a question. How you will spend your day in this ISS station? Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, Khalifa. سؤال جميل نحن يوميا عندنا جدول مزدحم ما عدا أيام نهاية الأسبوع دائما ما نصحى الساعة ستة ونص. وعليكم السلام خليفة. Your question is good. We daily we have a schedule. We set for the end of the weekend. We wake up at six thirty and we have a daily routine breakfast and reviewing the schedule. And then seven thirty until the seven p.m. we have a crowded, a crowded schedule. We have what is called the storage or the sewage to move the items. For example, we have here a capsule, it's the Swiss Dragon 27, that loaded with the, uh, the scientific experiments and the uh, food for the crew. We need to distribute it in a certain way in the station. And even after the working hours, we will have what daily exercise for about three hours. Why is it important to protect the, the uh, astronauts from what is called osteoporosis? Peace be upon you. My question today, what are these kind of the uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, Experience you are experiments you are working on it now and what about the results? Uh, 
Uh, thank you, Aisha. As I have said before, our schedule is full. And uh, we, uh, two days ago, talking about uh, the heart uh, tissues uh, printed in 3D, these tissues, uh, heart tissues, uh, we injected them with a certain uh, medicine to know about its reflection. And because one day or another, we can, uh, we can print uh, 3D uh, engines and uh, organs and give it to the people uh, and also working on the uh, composition of the some diabetes uh, to have what is called to experiment a certain drug about uh, this uh, like some di di food uh, disease uh, and why I'm talking to you uh, we have what is called sensor uh, suit in case uh, to measure the oxygen level and the uh, the heart beat and uh, working hour let's uh, living uh, minutes and hours under the watch watch I have it now so many the astronauts need to know uh, the availability of traveling in the future to the space. My name is Latifa. Uh, my question is how you can get the oxygen on the station? Latifa, a question. The station is a building and it has a special way to help us in life. For example, the oxygen we have to use is to make the oxygen. Latifa, you have a good question. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, this station has a, a closed environment uh, with all the facilities because we have we uh, analyze the oxygen from water because this water from the uh, the water from oxygen and hydrogen. When we analyze this water, desalinate this water, we need to take and extract the oxygen required for daily life. This year when you are done, and then you will Shamsi. I hope all the success uh, and come back uh, safe uh, and to keep healthy uh, physically and uh, even psychologically. Shukran, Muhammad. Jazakallah khair. Wallah yatik al-afiyah. Wa yisallamk min al-shar. Shukran, Muhammad. Thank you. Uh, I hope the same for you. And welcome, Sultan, and hope all success from this the future. And um, you have achieved the desired uh, dream. And I don't know, it's not away from you who are helping to achieve this, the aspirations. And I hope all the success for you, and will uh, will be come back safe and sound to the country. شكرًا يا محمد جزاك الله خير وهذا شرف لي إني أمثل دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة والوطن العربي في هذه المهمة وإن شاء الله نرجع لكم بالعلوم والغالمة إن شاء الله. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you. I'm very happy. I'm proud to represent the the UAE and even the world. Arab countries. Thank you, and we'll meet you later, inshallah. Well, good. This Japanese. My name is Marim Khalid. What is the biggest challenge you have faced until day to day in the space? Shukran, ya Asma. The fada biya saaba, ولكن إحنا نتعود على الحياة في الفضاء. بشكل يومي على سبيل المثال نحن ما عندنا شكرا اسمع the space is a very difficult environment but we are to be familiar daily by day with this environment we have we are as you can see now we don't have the directions I can upside upside down and, but I am not sure. I'm not. I don't have this feeling so any direction I put my body here or there. 
It means it means this is up, this is out, and this is right, and this is left. I don't have uh, these feelings, but uh, when the started, I was. I don't I don't know how to distinguish between the situation, uh, the location. So we have what is called the tags here on the modules. This is the upper, this is the down, this is the up, this is down, and this is the right, and this is the left. So we learn how to know the directions, and we hope the future movements will be more stable. My question? Please. Thank you, Rafia. Um, so in space, we have a unified uh, timing. We use the GMT time, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, uh, because it's really difficult uh, to shukran, track Rafia. the time. We have on the a sun unified or, uh, timing. We use the GMT time, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, uh, because it's really difficult to track the time depending on the sun or uh, the beginning of the day because we see literally 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every day which is uh, happening every 45 minutes and if we depend on that it's going to be really difficult for us uh, so yeah we have 24 hours but it's uh, gmt time and time flies really fast in uh, in space so we have to track our time depending on depending on our activities Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. So, how do you keep the ISS safe from things floating around? Thank you, Shiva. So, we have different um, things that we can use to um, secure items. So, for example, we're using Velcro. Thank you, Shiva. So, we have different um, things that we can use to. Um, secure items. So, for example, we're using Velcro. Velcro is a, is a good thing to, to keep. So, we can attach similar things everywhere, and we have Velcro everywhere on the, on the station. And for example, this is a drink bag, and it has Velcro. And everything we get on station, food or items, they're all having Velcro, so we can secure them on uh, a specific place. We also have handrails hand that we can grab to. to See, it's floating. We need to secure it to a specific place. We have handrails and we have bungees that we can use to secure items around the space station. Easy, our Sultan. Um, the Al -Ghafli, my question is how you can communicate with your family and relatives. Basically, uh, 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 the, uh, the ISS, uh, like the satellite, uh, got a uh, revolve around the Earth uh, each uh, 90 minutes. So uh, during this one, we have the connection with the satellite that can help us to have what is called direct communication on the phone or even email or even the uh, video calls. So we have the channels, the means, we are channel, we use it with the satellite, with the round or the ground or the satellite. This is my first Mahiri. I want to ask you how. Food in space. Excellent question. So we have, luckily we have a big variety of food. We have... Uh, Excellent question. So we have, luckily we have a big variety of food. We have uh, cargo vehicles that arrive to the station every now and then. And our food is packed in these little pockets. And for example, this morning I had scrambled eggs, which comes in this. Uh, hydrated or dehydrated packet. So all we need to do is to fill it with water, hot water, and then cut it, and then enjoy eating that. Again, we have Velcro on it. 
And since you talked about food, so we'll to enjoy some candy let's show you some cool stuff that we, we do on station. Do you know what this is? So we get to enjoy some candies as well on board the station. السلام عليكم اسمي عمر خربوش كيف تشرب في الفضاء سؤال جميل يا عمر وخلني اراويك افضل تريك عندي ولا شيء انا استمتع اني اسويه وهو كيف نشرب سؤال جميل يا عمر وخلني اراويك افضل This is a good question, Omar. I will give you a good question. I, I would, this is a trick. How we can drink water? I have a towel. It's not to avoid and not to use spread water. I will give you the experience now. How we, uh, this water and the hydrogen and oxygen can be distributed in the, in the space. So let's see now. خلونا نجرب واحدة أكبر. We can try bigger, bigger amount of water. Peace be you all. My name is Ghaira Hawaii. And your question. So my question is, how does microgravity affect your body? That was refreshing. <clears throat> yeah, microgravity. Uh, because we don't have gravity here on station, um, we tend to lose body mass. That was refreshing. <clears throat> Yeah, microgravity. Uh, because we don't have gravity here on station, um, we tend to lose body mass, and we lose uh, oxygen. We lose actually uh, bone density. That's why we have to train two hours every day on a treadmill and uh, uh, like a cycle. Uh, ergometer, they call it, and also a weightlifting device. But the question is, we don't have weight on space, so how do we uh, create uh, the resistance? And we use that, uh, or actually we perform that using uh, vacuum cylinders that uh, simulate the, the weight or the resistance when we lift uh, weight. وهذا ليش تنسى الفضاء؟ ليش؟ I choose to go to a space. هذا سؤال جميل. نحن مثل ما قلت لك مشغولين بتجارب علمية برنامجنا علمي بحث نريد نستكشف أدوية جديدة نريد نستكشف Thank you عبد الرحمن. As I have said before, we are enthusiastic about these scientific researches in order to discover a new technologies, a new solutions, a developed organs or materials that help us in the future. So this station is a kind of the research center that can run for 20 years or even uh, for more than 10 years. So this is kind of experiments. It's uh, very important to experience all these scientific experiments. <laughs> <laughs> because some people got the science they didn't know what happened after there is no there, there is uh, there is no gravity so we are here in the uh, space and even uh, the space uh, 
This is an aspiring situation, and I was dreaming in a sense I was a child to go for the space, and I'm very happy to go there remotely, move freely without any what is called the directions, and I'm very happy to float like that and to achieve my dream when I was the year young. And you will be one of the future astronauts, Omar. Thank you. Peace be upon you, Ahmed Hamad Saad Hababi. How you sleep on the in the space? سؤال جميل يا سعد. الفضاء جدا مثير. الجميل في في الموضوع في النوم في الفضاء أنك مش محتاج مخدة. Thank you for a good question, Saad. The insight is inspiring. The good thing here for sleeping in the in the space. You don't need the pillow. You don't need a bed. All what you need is, is to float in this way, only like this. But if you stayed like this, I will, I will fly, fly, fly for another phase. So we have what was called in a, a kind of space dedicated for sleeping only. Shukran Sultan Yadi for this uh, conversation. Sultan, all are sending uh, uh, salutes for you and congratulations and thank you for giving the time to be with us. Thank you, Saud. Thank you all. And inshallah, I will see you in the future. Uh, and after the completion of this mission, I'll see you all, inshallah. Thank you, Sultan Niyadi. And the conclusion, anybody who can have the chance. Thank you to all participants from the UAE station. We are now resuming operational audio communication.